we have here the universe, the Tai Yao, the Tai Ao, the Tai Ao, the Tai is that region of the universe. Ao is the world. Tai itself identifies various sectors of the universe. <coughs> tai Moana, the ocean. Tai Venua, land. <coughs> tai Tangata, people of the land. And so, we have, in the past, categorized the universe in Māori terms. And so, it is our way of getting to understand. And so we have here the world of stars, sun, moon. We'll get to that later. But I want to refer to Tai, Tai Moana is the ocean and the element of natural universal law is the name Tangaroa. For us Tangaroa is the master of the ocean or in Maori terms Atua of the ocean. Atua was the term that colonials suddenly realized equated with God. The other surprise we had that we have many gods. Now that wasn't didn't quite fit the story. <laughs> but however, that's still our story today. There are many gods. And we'll go through them in time. And they will consist of Romo. Rongo. Rongo is the atua of balance, stability, equilibrium, harmony, peace. Fundamental. The first atua to be mentioned in the oral transcripts of our ancestors. Rongo to tangata. So it implies that the universe has to be in a state of balance before life would come into this world. However, water was fundamental to that. So when we talk about space, time, energy, matter, elements of natural law and water. Without water, there's no life. And so Atua for us are real and are there and are used today. But I would like to add, today is a special day in which people go to church. And I acknowledge today as a day we can all go to church. I can look out the window, I see the sky, I see the ocean, I see the landscape, and the trees, and the trees are life. We all come from that same principle in which the trees come. And Tane, Tane, the Atua of forests, flora, fauna, birds, insects, and even humans, <coughs> humans, because very shortly I'm going to refer to <coughs> the element of Moriora. Moriora is dynamic life force, and each and every one of you in here today is a physical, spiritual, symbolic representation 
of Moon Piyot. And to do that, I want to quote the Māori e runga, the Māori e rā, the Māori o e nei tupua, the Māori o e nei tapu, the Māori o tamanui te rā, o papatua nuku e tapatone. Tihe Māori o rā. Sneeze dynamic force. Sneeze dynamic force. When a child is born, born into this world, and it has to sneeze before it becomes a dynamic force. Soon after that, something to drink. <laughs> dynamic life force is calling for food. Every child. And so Mauriora is that child that is born and seizes, it bursts out trying, is reflecting that dynamic life force. And we all have it. We all use it. Some overuse it. <laughs> have a rest. But we all try to enjoy it. And so Taimwana allows that water from Papa Tuanuku. And Papa Tuanuku is Earth Mother. Papa, it stands on its own axis and it spins around itself each day as it travels around the sun. You didn't know that, did you? Of course you did. Yeah. But for us, every day is a wonderful day because the sun rises and the sun sets. Sun rises, sun sets. So for us, the sun goes around, no, the earth goes around the earth in a clockwise direction. Earth revolves around itself in an anti-clockwise direction. That's the Māori story. Might be the same for you. You can let me know later. If it's not, we can discuss it. And so, Tangaroa of the ocean, water. All water in Papatuanuku, a bowl of water. My name begins with wai, water. Wai, kere, deep, deep, deep down and held in the landscape. I understand there's something like that under yes. this big city. There's a big aquifer down there. Well, aquifer means white kere puru. Yeah, our people knew that it was down there. So, these are part and parcel of what we want to talk about. And water it was that brought life. Human life, animal life, plant life, flora, and for So all of life is dependent on water. And we have to believe that and we have to ensure that protection of that water is maintained throughout. And uh, we are having our own uh, serious discussions back in Aotearoa, New Zealand over who owns the water. And government keeps telling us, no one owns the water. No one owns the water. We know that. We don't have a word in our language for ownership. But we have mana. It's the word of authority, management, control, 
because that's what it was before colonialism <coughs> arrived. And so we maintain that status as the framework for discussion and debate with any government wanting to come and say, we are the government and this is law. That's okay. You are the government. You have the law, but we also have a law. And it's called Tikanga Māori, Māori law. And where it's based, it's based in the tapu nature of life itself. Tapu, uh, hands up uh, those of you who know what tapu means or have an idea or a thought of what tapu might be. What about tabu? Anybody know about tabu? What is tabu? Forbidden. Prohibited? Forbidden. 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 Ah, that's tapu. That's tapu. And that's a tapu. Forbidden. There's a boundary around it. There's a boundary around many things. And tapu is the law. You cannot desecrate anything that is tapu. A child newly born is a protected child by tapu and by protection. Every individual has tapu because they have the right to be themselves unmolested, unattacked, and so on. Everyone has the right to be free, comfortable, and happy. And so the principle of tapu is important. And children, don't go over there. He tapu tera. And so tapu is a very fundamental principle of law in Mao. And every law is bound by tapu. So legislated law is always under question from our point of view because it ignores what our focus is on the protection of resources, on the protection of water, on the protection of land, and so we have to protect it. Unfortunately, we have to go through a whole lot of things which undermined that principle simply by colonialism. But now things are changing that. Discussion and debate is changing that. And now Maori law is here to challenge any law that government legislates. And many laws are such you can deviate it says you can deviate tapu or sacred areas. We say you can't do that. And so we have to protect our law in our own way. So tikanga Māori is fundamental and any law is there to protect the resources. So ours is to continue on. And so hihiri, energy, static energy. My glass of water there, see? Static energy, safe and sound. Unless I bump it, mm -hmm. then it becomes unstable. Static energy, kinetic energy, electrical energy, hydro energy, molecular energy is all contained in the language that we have to deal with. And so there's no energy that we don't have to deal with. <coughs> Even though computers are a thing of today, they all come from electricity, natural electricity. Lightning has been around for a long time. We didn't bother to use it then. Now they've caught up with us, so we use it too. Therefore, electrical energy is all around us, all over the floor. And so we make use of it in a way that it is alive. Um, Hearing our nuku, hearing our brother. So earth and sun have enormous energy. Somebody mentioned the Big Bang. 
But the Maori story is it didn't go that way. That was separated by Tane. Tane Mahuta is the Atua of forests. And it was he that separated the sun and earth. He tried to push it up while doing this. I could have told him that he couldn't do it because I couldn't do it. <laughs> So he decided to put his head down there and his feet up and separated the sun. So the Big Bang was actually a big kick in the, you know, that side of the <laughs> sun. And that separated the sun. Kaputa te te marama, the world of light then became part of the potentiality of life resting in the earth. There were the children of Papa Tuanapu, the children of Mother Earth, arguing about, hey, this is too tight down here. We need more room. We need more space. We need, need to build a bigger house here. So their talk was for light and space. Hence the separation of the sun. Now the sun is way up there. And the old people never talked about a Big Bang. They talked about the energy that was rumbling in space. They were all talked about. The energy was there. It was happening out there. But for us, it was space. And therein was the potentiality. At that point, it was te kore. Te kore was inanimate, no life at that time. And that kore, for some, implies nothing. But there's no such thing as nothing. Maoris had the same idea. For Maoris, it was te kore nui, big. Kore roa, long nothing. Kore hohonu, deep nothing. And so, nothing had, it had a construct. And therefore, from that point, and water arrived, then the potentiality of life came into being. And that's the Kore Nui, the Kore Ro, the Kore Te Mahara, the Kore Te Mahara. And all those nothings came into being. And so for Māori, everything's going well. Everything's according to plan, and that's the way we have to live, according to plan. Uh, so, that might give you something to ask questions about <coughs> later on, but that's so uh, okay. Although we dealt with the tapu of the tayao. Oh, now, what have we got here? <laughs> oh, that's that face Teuta he was talking about. That's her mountain. That Taranaki mountain. In Taranaki, North Island, New Zealand. North Island. It's never appealed to us, North Island. Or South Island. Our name for the North Island is Te Ika a Māori, the fish of Māori, because it was our legendary ancestor, Māori, who fished up that great fish of the North Island. That's what it's called. The North Island is Te Ika a Māori, the fish of Māori. And therefore, us, it's a fish because it came out of the sea. And it's still a fish. However, underneath that, there's a bigger fish. Nobody's talked about it much, but it's called the continental shelf. And we've claimed it. We've claimed it. They stopped nuclear testing. I know that. Government is going to get its knickers in a twist. <laughs> 
because we've claimed it. But however, you, you'll get the news in time as to what happens. <laughs> you'll hear all about it. Uh, but we're not leaving home. It's our home. That's where we belong. And the fish, it's called the one underneath the fish, Te Papa Moenga Roa, or Tala Roa. It's got its own name. Te Papa Moenga Roa, or Tala Roa. The bedstead of Tala Roa. That's where Tala Roa sleeps. You know who Tala Roa is? The ocean. Takapo Fariki is the sacred map that surrounds the earth. That, for us, is Tangaroa. And so the sacred map, Tangaroa, he knows where he belongs, he knows where to sleep, in his own bed, the sea bed. And so we've claimed it. But the only reason we're claiming it is that government will, well, it's, it's doing that now. It's claiming it now, without having legal right <coughs> granted to them. So we've got to say, well, no, you can't do that. Can't do that. <clears throat> but in time, the discussions will take place about it. And I'm sure you'll hear about it. Um, so I'd like to move on to the next. Well, Taranaki is the name of the province. Oh. Yeah, well, Taranaki and its people have had to work diligently to protect its resources. This is one of the waterfalls on the mountain, uh, the Wai Rede or Noke, this one. Why you did it? Flying water is a waterfall for us, and there are several flying waters on the mountain, and they are the waterfalls. There's another one not far above that one, uh, the Rereo Kapuni, and there's another one further up the mountain, the Hawaii, all the way from Hawaii, and that's where our ancestors. From Taranaki, we come from the Hawaii, which is in Tahiti, Raiate, the next island, and in that area. And we came to Aotearoa, and we've been living in Taranaki ever since. Ever since. And so for us, that's our home, and that's our mountain, and our rivers, and the waters are fundamental to Taranaki. And so they have to be protected. And why is fundamental for all life. And so, ah, here we are. We see in the, in the center, te ra ni iatea. Ra is the sun. And incidentally, it's the same word as the Egyptians called it the sun. And that is still our name for the sun, even today. Last year in Istanbul, we met up with an Indian, no, an Egyptian woman, and I thought I'd like to ask her a question. I said, I'd like to ask you a question. Oh, yes, yes, you can ask me a question. I said, is the Ra still your name for the sun? And she said, oh no, that's the ancient language. That's not our language. We have another language. What's your language now? Arabic. So, loss of the language means loss of terminology, loss of history, loss of the value of culture. And so I was very surprised in that, but delighted to know we are still hanging on to the sun. And Papa Tuanuku, Earth Mother, starting over here, then going around the sun. Eh? 
Kohitate. Kohitate is January. Kuita Muru is February. Potu Terani is March. And so it goes on around the, around the circle, the different months. And each time it's spinning around itself it takes a month. And so it goes around there. And at the end of the year, we finish up here, uh, December, or Haki here. And so we have our own names for each month and each moon. And so <coughs> for us, this is where we have all come from. And virtually, uh, Te Urutahi talked about the womb of the universe. Of course, there it is, the womb of the universe. The womb of all life. Without that in place, there wouldn't be any life. And so, today, we can rejoice, we can acknowledge and share that, well, this is how we look at it. And so, hopefully, it offers some information that can be useful to you, uh, and so on. Uh, Tamanui te rā. Rā ni iotea means radiant sun in great space. Papa tu anuku, simply papa. The earth we stand on is papa. Papa tu, but it's standing, it's got its own axis because it's got a spin. Like it is here, it's going to spin, it spins around. But we say it spins anti-clockwise. You might disagree with that, but that's okay. We can talk about it later. Might be different up here. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll have to say which way it spins. But that, that's for us. It spins anti-clockwise. Okay. All right. Well, uh, that's that's our universe. What's next on the name? Hmm? Okay. Right. So now we need to get down to nitty gritty and talk about Taif Inua, the lens. And Taif is a term which is reflected in Taiwan, in Thailand. Taimuan. So that term has come through Taiwan. Taiwan, Taitung. These are places in, in uh, Taiwan. And they said to us when we went there a couple of years ago, he said, Oh, you Maoris, you left here 3,000 years ago and haven't come back. <laughs> and I said, I'm back. <laughs> I've come back to claim. <laughs> but we let them live there. We're okay where we are. Yeah, we're okay where we are. And so Thai is a common term through the Thailand. It has the same expression. And so for us, we can look at other places where our language and terminology is being reflected. And so Papa Tuanuku is is a huge story in itself. Papa Tu A Nuku. Nuku is to shift, to move. And when it spins around, it spins around on its axis. Oh, anticlockwise. <laughs> anticlockwise. Well, that's what my, my elder said. Hoki Wakamuri goes backwards, spins the other way. Okay? And out of all that, we've grown into a dynamic mass of people. And today, we have a collective of this mass here in Albuquerque, Tena Koto, Tena Koto, Kyona Tata Katwa. Thank you for listening quietly and 
no tomatoes or eggs coming. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for being kind and uh, respectful. That's being mindful of tapu, of course, you see. So we're all mindful of tapu. Tēnā kūtō, tēnā kūtō. Kia ora tāpā. He wai yata tātā? Kā he, mūtēnā, he pātai. Pātai. Question.